Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle. For those of you who are brand new around here, I love to talk all about affordable living and intentional homemaking. And today on the channel, we are going to get some spring homemaking done. I have a bunch of stuff I need to get done over the next two days, so come along with me. I want to take a moment to thank American Flat for sponsoring this portion of today's video. When they reached out to me, I absolutely fell in love with their beautiful pieces and completely unique designs. They truly do have something for everyone. When I opened up my American Flat package, I was absolutely blown away by not only the beauty of each individual piece that I had gotten, but the quality behind them as well. Each lovely work is printed on high quality canvas that appears as if the artist themselves just finished hand painting the piece for you. American Flat has a community of over 150 artists creating gorgeous new works of art. They partner with artists from all over the world to offer you a wide variety of styles and options. The artist then receives a portion of every order, so your purchase helps support an independent artist. The creator of American Flat moved to New York and wanted to put lovely art in his apartment, but soon realized the hefty price tag that came along with that. So he decided that he wanted to create a brand that was not for the art investor, but for the art lover. I love that. Their wall art and home decor has been hand selected for art lovers just like you. So I have this pesky wall in my dining room that has never been decorated well in the nearly 11 years that we've been in this house. I've placed one item on the wall there over the years, but it's never truly felt filled in or aesthetically pleasing in any way. So once I saw these gorgeous canvas prints from American Flat, I was excited to finally get the look that I've been longing for without having to spend hundreds of dollars per painting. I grabbed some of my favorite gold frames that I already had in my collection. Then I stopped over at Goodwill and I grabbed two larger frames to kind of fill in what I was missing size-wise. And then I went to work framing out all of these incredible vintage pieces. One of my favorite things to do with canvas artwork is to leave the glass out of the frame. This is such a simple touch that adds major impact in giving the appearance of a fresh painting. Once I had all of my flats framed, I laid them out to get a good visual for the best way to create a collage out of them. I would highly recommend doing this, creating a pattern on either your table or your floor before you place it up on the wall. It's such an easy and simple step to assure that you can move items around and get that balance and the best design before you make a more permanent decision by putting them up on the wall. I absolutely love the way that this vintage collection and collage came together. It looks so stunning and it brings so much life to our dining room. So if you are interested in purchasing from American Flat, I will leave a link in the description below just for you to click on and check them out. Not only do they have lovely prints, they have some fun shower curtains, home decor pieces, frames, so much different stuff. They have great items for kids rooms. I was very tempted to get this cute little collage of of animals, safari animals for my son's safari themed room. There was just so much to pick from and I was really, really grateful that they reached out to me. So thank you again, American Flat, for sponsoring this portion of today's video.
Okay, so I went to Trader Joe's last week and I got these. They were like seriously absolutely beautiful. I'm going to take, I, I did take a picture of them. I will um, insert it here so you can see them. These absolutely gorgeous like kind of creamy colored slightly with the tiniest tinge of pink roses and they didn't even last me a week. I'm actually really bummed about it because they were gorgeous. I really wanted them to... I don't know, look lovely on my dining table. And then these mums and these carnations, I think these are carnations, I think. Um, I got these at Lidl, which is kind of like an Aldi, three weeks ago, and they're still looking lovely and gorgeous. I also got some eucalyptus at Trader Joe's. I feel like Trader Joe's is always great for their eucalyptus. So I want to kind of repurpose some of these. This is from three weeks ago. It is dried out. I'm not really sure what it was, but it was really pretty. It was like this purple kind of very dainty. If you hear clippy clapping in the background, that's my dog walking around the kitchen. Um, but this was really, really pretty, but it has also dried out and died as well. So I want to try to repurpose this. I grabbed some daisies, not daisies. I grabbed some daffodils out of the front yard to make a new kind of beautiful arrangement for my table. We have so many daffodils in the front yard. They are incredibly prolific and gorgeous. So I want to try to take these, put this in here, sort of redo this. And then I also wanted to take a second to show you what I grabbed at Michael's this past weekend. Look how fun. Michael's was having like a 70% off their spring floral sale. So I grabbed this little peony. I love, I love real peonies. I think they're absolutely gorgeous, but I thought these were so stunning and would look really pretty like year after year. So I got these. I got these lovely, very soft, dusty pink roses. I am not like a pink, pink girl. I'm a very muted pink kind of gal. So these two I thought looked so lovely together and would play off nicely for like years to come. And then I got this gorgeous bunch of eucalyptus and this lovely stem as well. Just, I thought it looked so lovely all together. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this yet. I might put it in our master bedroom. I might put it on the front porch. I'm not totally sure yet, but all of these all together cost me, I want to say like $12 because they were all on sale. So like originally each one was like $7.99 or $9.99 and because they were all 70% off, major steal. So I don't know if Michael's is still holding this sale or not. I mean, I usually film fairly like early in my filming schedule. So it'll probably be a couple weeks before this video actually gets to you guys, but check out Michael's for their beautiful spring florals. Cause I was really loving these. Flower arrangements are some of my most favorite things to do around the house. I have absolutely loved arranging flowers probably since I was a younger girl because when I was a child growing up, I was a ballerina and I got so many flowers every single year for so many different shows and whatnot. So I've always enjoyed putting them together in a vase. I think it is so much fun. So taking time to put beautiful flower arrangements together on your table or maybe somewhere in your living room or even in your bedroom, I find to be such a life-giving thing. I love seeing fresh life in the spring and that is when I tend to go to the store and buy flower arrangements or head outside to our yard and make fresh flower arrangements with the cut flowers that I have in our garden throughout the entire spring season. It just adds so much beauty to the table and it's such a simple thing that you can do for such a low cost especially if you grow flowers in your own garden I have been working on this daffodil garden that we have in our front yard for several years now and when I say I I actually mean my husband we started with such a small little daffodil patch and every single year when they would die out my husband would let them get as much energy as possible from the sun throughout the summertime. And then towards the late summer, early fall, he would cut the different 
bulb patches in half and he would redistribute them to new locations throughout the yard, both the front yard and the backyard. And I'm so grateful that he has done that because it looks so lovely. It is so full and beautiful every single spring season. And it gets me so excited because it is the telltale sign that spring is beginning. The other thing that I love in our garden that is another beautiful thing to pick in the early spring are our hellebores. I love our hellebore patch. This is actually something we got from a farmer's market style show about, oh goodness, I want to say seven or eight years ago now. And we planted them on our side yard. They were really small when we got them, but they've gotten so big now. And they, again, are another telltale sign that spring is coming. And I love seeing how nature just explodes around us in the springtime. Things start to get really beautiful and the blooms just start sprouting. Right now, even as I look out my window as I'm filming this voiceover, I love seeing all the beautiful white and pink buds on all the trees. We're starting to get some beautiful green buds on my favorite tree wall on the side of our yard. All of that just gets me so excited for the spring season. And then my son and I are also outside getting those weeds out because along with the beauty of spring comes the work of spring as well. But it is such a lovely and welcomed task to take on after being cooped up inside all winter long, feeling those really chilly and cold days. It's lovely to get outside on a much warmer day and really soak in the sunshine and get our hands dirty in the ground pulling up the weeds and preparing these flower beds for the new season to come. And of course, after a really nice hard day's work in the garden, we love to spend time just having snacks, having a nice coffee, and relaxing on the front porch. My front porch is my favorite thing about our house. It is absolutely lovely, and it is the thing that brings me life. We sit on our porch all of the time in the spring and summer months, and even in the fall as well. When it's not, not too chilly out, we love to be out on our okay. porch. If we ever move, I definitely want a porch. And then the other thing that we do every single day, unless it is absolutely freezing cold or raining, is go for a nice long walk around town. The following day was much rainier. We actually then had, I wanna say like five days of rain in a row. Those April showers are certainly here to stay. So we had to do some inside spring activities and we started that with just spending time coloring and enjoying the morning, taking it slow. Sometimes rainy days get me down, but sometimes they're a nice way to recharge after being outside all day and doing some indoor activities. The other thing that I love to do on rainier days is get some exercise indoors. So we have this amazing exercise bike on our third floor, which is actually our master bedroom. Our entire third floor is our master bedroom. So it houses both our bed area and all of our dressers and wardrobe and everything. It also houses a small nursery for our youngest son. And then it also has this little exercise area, which is so wonderful. And it is great to just kind of block off the space and allow the kids to play and have a great time up there while I I'm getting some good exercise in. It takes me a while to get back into exercise after having kids, if I'm being totally honest. I'm not somebody who like jumps back into exercise at six weeks or even at like three or four months. It really takes me probably the better part of 10 months to a year to get back into a good exercise routine. And I have just really been enjoying spending the time indoors riding on our bike. I love this bike. I'll have it linked below if you're interested. It is very similar to a Peloton, but it is literally half the price. 
e or even cheaper if you get it without the screen. That's my iPad that's actually sitting in the bike. So I got so much use out of this thing. And it's wonderful to be able to work out without needing to drag the kids somewhere. But once the sunshine comes out again and we're not stuck indoors, I actually like to go for bike rides around town. I have one of those carts that you attach to the back of your bike and I can take the kids with me anywhere. So doing nice long walks every day and spending time taking a nice bike ride is the way that I love to exercise and get the most out of being outdoors and even indoors. I'd love to hear in the comments below. Let me know if you are a big exercise person and what routine you particularly enjoy. Like I said, I like walking and bike riding, but I love hearing other people's exercise routines because it gives me some ideas if I've not tried something new. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite is. So once I sort of straightened out my hair, brushed out any knots, I then started getting laundry together. I feel like I've talked about this on the channel before, but I'm not somebody that does laundry every single day. I would rather knock out like four or five loads in one day and then have five or six days without having to do laundry, then have to do laundry every single day. That's just my personal preference. I know that people swear by the laundry every day situation, but I'd rather just get it taken care of and then I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the week. And then the other task that I always need to take care of and make sure that I'm being on top of week in and week out is watering all of our plants. We have a nice prolific plant family in this house. We just keep adding every single year and I am starting to love all of the different greenery. It again brings that spring warmth from the outdoors to the indoors of our home and I love seeing all of the life that is just bringing up. On top of having cut flowers everywhere, they just add, again, so much beauty to our home, and I love making sure that I maintain all of that. Along with the flowers that I talked to you about, the faux flowers that I talked to you about in the beginning of this video, I also grabbed these kind of mothy pink candles from Michaels. They were also on sale when I was there, and I felt like they just added a really nice, fun, springy touch to my little tray set over here. So I popped those into my candle holders, and they're adding, like I said, a nice little spring touch. And then the very last thing that I did this day was vacuum. We just got this brand new, I think it's a shark vacuum cleaner. We used to have a Dyson and it's just been several years, like a little over a decade now. And it just hasn't been working the same as when we first got it. So we needed to upgrade. And I've been wanting to get one of these handheld vacuums because we actually have four working floors in our house. Family room is in the basement. We have the main level. We have the second floor bedrooms. And then we have our bedroom on the third floor. So. It is really handy to have this wonderful little cordless vacuum cleaner that I can drag up and down the stairs. And then this is a little treat at the very end here. This is our baby walking. This is the very first week he started walking and he's taking really long steps and I am so, so excited for him. He's so adorable. So thank you very much again, friends, for joining me today on this spring homemaking day. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna have a link for American Flat below so you can head over there if you want to purchase some items from them, I really, really love my prints. Subscribe if you are new. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys really soon in another video. Have an amazing week, my friends. Bye.